So here we get our equatorial table. As you can see, it's very simple. A T-shaped uh, rotating plate, a motor to uh, perform the actuation of the table, some rollers, a rotula there. Now, if we dismantle all this, unscrewing the nut, removing the connecting rod, you can see that it is a really, really free in rotation. The design itself is simple. We get here these 3D printed vertical north sectors, which are curved and vertical so that there is no other effort than compression on these plastic parts, so it's quite solid. You see here the south ball bearing, which is a spherical uh, joint that will be inserted in this pod, and this part is, uh, you can screw or unscrew this, this nut in order to trim the height of the uh, south uh, bearing. Here you get some rollers and the motor. You see the orientation, south, north. And if I place back this here, clack, it will exactly fit on the rollers. Again, no friction, it comes back to its neutral position, vertical one, uh, only by gravity here. I connect back my connecting rod. Trying to screw this little nut. Not easy. There we are. Tighten and now the table is locked in position and it can be driven by the motor. The motor is actuated by an USP32 and an easy driver. Well, this is a floating uh, dirt installation, and the power comes from a 3S LiPo battery, which is enough to drive the motor. The motor is connected. I just placed it, the battery is a little bit empty. I just placed, placed air here, a voltmeter and an ampmeter, and you can see that it is only pulling uh, 100, 120, 20 milliamps, which is quite low. I will accelerate a little bit the motion in order to reset the, uh, uh, the table. Let's assume that I push one button, and you can see the acceleration of the motor, which is now rotating the opposite way. And you see here the full speed motion in order to ohm the, uh, the table in direction to the east. Let's assume that we have reached the final uh, end stop. The end stop will trigger and then triggering the end stop will stop the motion and the motor will start to move for observation. That's all. Uh, what we can do now is uh, placing on top of this uh, the, uh, all the elements of the telescope. Now, let's put on top of this the telescope itself. First of all, this is the Dobson mount that we will put on top of its screw like that. It will rotate on the teflon, the PTFE pads. And this is the tube placed here, rotating like that and like that. And you see that the table is driving all this stuff without any any effort. That's all.